welcome to G's Tight Lines, welcome to another episode. So I've just had something arrive in the post, um, it's quite exciting really, probably not to a lot of people but to me it's quite exciting. So I thought I'd just do a bit of an open and reveal with you guys and a bit of a product review really. Um, so I had one and then I lost it and didn't have one. So I deliberated over whether or not to replace it and then a few months later as the web's got colder and things have got a bit more tricky I thought sod it I'll get another one it's only going to cost a tenner so that's what I've done. So I am talking about the Innovate Bait Binder. Now I don't know if you guys are familiar with this piece of equipment or have got one and have used one to great effect but I absolutely love it and I wish I'd bought a second one much much sooner. So the main reason being, as you'll see in my previous videos for bait fishing on the shore, um, I like to use, particularly on specific venues, quite big fishy baits. That needs bait elastic, doesn't it? Especially if you're hoying out at some distance. And without this, so I've been using this one since August. And as you can see, it's minging. It's really got quite stinking. Blech. That needs to go in the bin it's really unpleasant um, and that's what five months use just from being bare hands fish juices on it and not being washed afterwards so i'm going to chuck that because it's got stuff growing and it's probably i've probably got the cure for coronavirus right here in my hands but it's not nice so like i say i've bit the bullet and i've brought another one so in these kits for a roughly a tenner, so this was just under a tenner this one, I think it was like £9.90 with a couple of quid postage. Uh, if you go online you can find them from varying prices, the more you pay there's more of a chance of having free postage, but in general they're around about a tenner. Um, so in the pack you get a lanyard for going around your noggin, you get the actual binder itself, which I shall go into in some details, and you get three reels of elastic. So as you can probably see from here, the orange is your light, your green is your medium, and your blue is your heavy. So my heavy, I'd probably use on the boat if I was toping or similar, using for big, big fish baits, binding them all together. My green, I would probably use from the shore for smaller fish baits, things like um, squid, bluey mackerel, etc. And then the orange, I would use for worm baits, probably sand eel if I was bassing, fishing for flatties, flounder, etc. place. So you've got a good variety there. So let's crack her open and let's have a butchers. Now the thing I love about this, for its simplicity, it's really, really is quite effective. Now the one thing on this that makes it unique and makes it a really good piece of equipment. So obviously on the binder, you've got two halves. You've got your top half and your second half. You've got this locking system here on this ridge and then the male portions of the locking system on there and it really is very secure. So pop it in, locked in place, brilliant. Um, with your lanyard, it's big enough to go over a noggin as big and bold as mine. So that can go around at the neck and then you've got these two portions. So you've got the main lanyard and then you've got this portion here that clips off, I think. And then that, quite simply, Lark's head it, so you put it through like you're doing your line to line on your fly lines really. How's that fit around there? There we go, that's secure now, that's never going to go anywhere. Okay, so for the purpose of the demonstration, I shall use the thick elastic. So you get your free spools, um, you've got these knobbled recesses here. Put your spool over there and quite simply clip it in. That's nice and secure now. Take the tag end of your elastic and if static doesn't kick in, which it often does. Here we go. Feed that through there. It's that simple, honest. Okay, so that's now through. Put it in place, click, it's in. Now what I love about this and why it's genius is because the spool that you've loaded that onto now extends out past the hole. Marrying up with the spool 
on the inside. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Is a, I believe it to be silicon ring on the inside of there. And that buffs up against the spool. As you can see, that's now under tension. So when you've got your baits, so these are two mackerel fillets, all you need to do to control that is pinch your finger over the top to wrap that up. To snap it, all you've got to do is hold that with your thumb and that's now in place. But what's beautiful about it, da -da, that's still out and it's still sandwiched in between there. So when it comes to your next bait, you haven't got to fiddle around with cold, wet hands trying to find your tag end, it's there. It's no, there's no messing, job done. And that's what's great about this. This is clean and secure. It's away from all the juices of your bait so that you'll get to use the whole spool. It's secure, but just be careful handling it because if you drop, they bounce, talking from experience. Okay guys, so that's it really. That's, that's all I got to say about that. Um, so that's the Innovate Bait Binder. Cost about a tenner online, or probably about the same in your local tackle shops if they supply them. If you haven't got one, my recommendation would be to go out and grab one. Brilliant piece of a kit. All right guys, take care. Um, all going well, Saturday I'll be out fishing. I'm not decided on what yet. I might go and have a go for the predators, the freshwater predators. Might go and do a bit of LRFing on the shore. Um, we're just getting over the back end of a really bad storm here in North Cornwall. I think most of the country's had it probably for the last couple of days. Um, I was contemplating going and fishing for the grading on the fly, but I think the rivers are just gonna to be too high. So I'm gonna keep well away from there. But either way, I've got a few jobs Saturday morning with the family, um, and then I will be getting out to do something. So I will have some footage for you. What, I'm not sure just yet. Might be on the shore, might be a bit of LRF in, might be a bit of shore um, jig casting, I don't know. But I will get out, I will bring you some footage. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this time I'll bring you some fish. That's kind of why we watch these things, isn't it? All right, guys, so thanks ever so much. Take care. Um, if you haven't, please give us a thumbs up. Please give us a subscribe. If there's anything specific you'd like to see or anything you want to mention, please put a comment in the comments box and um, stay safe, more importantly, in these horrible times. All right, guys, take care and tight lines.